Okay, this is kind of a weird angle, but you know, it's fine. I'm gonna show you guys our bullet journal. I showed it briefly in my last video, and I'm surprised with how many people actually bur bullet journal and wanted to see mine. So this is the first bullet journal I've ever done. So um, it's not anything special, but it has taken me so long. There's quite a few pages. I'm just gonna really quickly show you guys the trackers I'm gonna be using and what I'm gonna be doing in this bullet journal, but I'm not gonna show you guys everything because some pages are personal or maybe I'm like embarrassed about it. I love bullet journaling already, honestly. I've always watched bullet journal videos on TikTok. I'm kind of obsessed. So the first thing we have is a weekly weigh-in. So there's 53 Sundays in January. So I did 53 of these little um, rectangle moments. So every Sunday I'm just gonna put my weight in here, and then this is for how much I lose. Every pound I lose, I'm gonna put a little colorful heart in here. So that's gonna be nice. My goal is to lose 120 pounds this year, 2023. So every single time I lose a pound, I'm gonna color in a square. And then once I reach my goal, I did it folks, I did it. Here's just a 2023 doodle daily page where every single month has its own little section. Sorry, I have makeup right there. I'm sure you guys can tell. <laughs> um, but you just doodle every single day in the um, month that is that month, obviously. So then at the end of the year, it's just gonna be filled with doodles. And I do wanna say that I just finished this today, this whole bullet journal. So I don't have like any of it filled out or anything like that. I did do my first doodle, which is stupid, but I just wanted to say that that's January. Tonight will be the first night that I actually fill it out and use it. So how many be doing in hours? I slept tracker and I do wanna make it known that I accidentally messed up um, quite a few pages on how many <laughs> days are in August. Um, I think it's August that I messed up one. I don't remember, but one of the months I did mess up on, so just ignore it, it's fine. I love that for me. We have hours I slept tracker. I don't really wanna get into it. It's pretty obvious how to use this. We have a sleep rating, like how I slept, a makeup moment. I wanna write down like when I wear makeup and how much, because I'm just curious. Brush hair, Um, I want to start brushing my hair every day. As you guys know, I go weeks without brushing my hair and I want to stop doing that. I mean, it's okay if I skip a day or two or three, but going weeks is crazy. Here is my medicine tracker to remind me to take my medicine. My anxiety tracker, so we have severe, high, moderate, low, and none. My energy tracker for the day, high, moderate, low, and none. My movement, um, I exercise that day, I moved more or I was sedentary. So I'm an actual crybaby. <laughs> so I thought it was, would be fun for me to do a cry tracker because I literally cry almost every single day, but for like different reasons. And and something I love about bullet journaling is that so many people have the same ones, like rate my day, rate my sleep, how much water did I drink, et cetera, et cetera. But a lot of people have their own personal trackers to themselves. I haven't seen anyone have a crybaby tracker, let me tell you. <laughs> so I have sad tears, happy tears, angry tears, empathy tears, anxiety tears, and no tears. So I have a little takeout one. Uh, four times, three times, two times, one times, zero times. Um, there have been times where I've ordered takeout four times in one day. Um, it hasn't happened often, by no means, but um, it has happened, so that's why I have that. There, there, did I binge? No, yes, I feel like this page is super important for me. I have a on off track um, tracker because I'm curious. How many days am I on track and how many days am I off? I have a little nap. Tracker, I don't nap often. That was a phase where I did, but I don't know. I figured I would put this in there just to see. I have hours I worked one. I noticed that people who work from home, they do this. So I wanted to see how many hours, because sometimes one video or vlog can literally take me hours to edit, and then sometimes it doesn't. So I'm just like curious um, how often I am actually working. So we have a temperature outside one. And then we also have, what was the weather today? So these are just the whole little cute trackers. We have sun, we have um, sunny, but also cloudy. We have rainy, we have stormy with lightning, and we have snow. We have a productivity tracker. So just like percentages of like how productive was I within the day. It could be on anything. It could be just like my own personal goals. It could be with YouTube. It could be just anything. How productive was I that day? So this is a how was your day? So like amazing, really good. Okay, bad, really bad, horrible. Just answering like that. But then I also want to know like what was my mood for that day? I would like to choose choose just one, like what was my strongest mood or emotion that day and fill it out that way. But I know that sometimes I can have quite a few of those. So I feel like some of these squares will have more moods for that day. Like half of the square will be happy and the other half will be like fearful. I don't know. It just depends on my day. But the ones that I chose to put on here is happy, sad, angry, anxious, bored, relaxed, slash, content, silly, grumpy, numb, depressed, fearful, loving, stressed, and excited. Then there's one to rate my day. So this is the weekly average daily rating because I want to take every week of my ratings and then obviously get the average and put that down because I'm curious. Like around, like if there's a theme, I'm just curious. Like I know a lot of people talk about seasonal depression and things like that. So I wanna see if there's a theme for that for me. So this is my pages read tracker, like how many pages I've read in one day. So these are the books that I wanna read in 2023. And then this is the first book I will be reading. So every single day I'm going to write like how, uh, what page I'm on, what's my thoughts and what star rating would I give it that day. But then overall, each book will have its own rating. So I also wanna do a monthly weight loss. So in each month I know how much I lost. Then I'm gonna do a monthly YouTube views. We have a monthly savings and checkings because I wanna keep track of that. So this is my sleep log where every single day I'll put the time I fell asleep and the time I woke up and it'll just be like a whole line. I also wanna keep track of January subscribers. So every month, like where it says January, obviously I will be making the same page for February, March, April, et cetera, et cetera. And then this is my January water log because I'm curious how much water I'm drinking, which is not enough. I can tell you that. So I wanna write down something every single day that made me smile because we need happiness and positivity. Um, but I also am realistic and I know that there's gonna be a low moment in my day. So I'm gonna write a low light every day, but also a highlight, which has to be different than the thing that made me smile that day. And then I wanna have a main goal that I have to do the next day. And if I do do it right here, there's little squares that I made where I colored in if I did do it. And then my last page is my January habits. I chose six of them and I wanted them to all be directed towards cleaning because I like a clean apartment and I need to focus more on that in my opinion. So um, every day I want to clean in each of these rooms, which is office, bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, living room, and closet. I wanna clean in each of those for at least five minutes. And if I did do that, then I get to obviously um, check it off. So that was my last one, which means I have all of this to make more when I'm ready. So that is my bullet journal. I know quite a few people, which surprised me, asked me about it, and I figured I would share it and give some ideas. And if you bullet journal, please, in the comments below, tell me what type of trackers you use. If there's any you use that I don't have, let me know, because I'm willing to add more. Okay, guys, so I have a lot of clothes I'm getting rid of, and I'm just gonna quickly show them to you guys because it was requested. I'm getting rid of these black sweatpants. These are thicker sweatpants, and I don't like those. This is one of the most recent things that I bought from Torrid. It was too tight. And I just don't see myself ever wearing it. This is like a cardigan moment. I don't even know. But I had it for a long time. I think I've only worn it like three times. And it's like super long and I'm just not really into it. Here's another like
Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, do I want to get rid of it? Wait, I might keep this one. I think I want to change heart. So a lot of people may find me because of this dress. This is a dress that I do like, and I can take a lot of criticism. I can, but some things get ruined for me. And now every time I look at this dress, I think of rude and mean comments. So getting rid of that. I'm getting rid of this shirt, just a plain Jane shirt with some lace on the sleeve, but it's just like not really my style. I'm getting rid of this purple dress. I think I've worn it a handful of times, but I've had it for years. So knowing that I don't really choose it to wear it, I feel like it's just taking up space and someone else can have it. I do like this shirt. It's cute and all. It has a Nintendo. It says old school, but is it my style? Oh my God. Wait, I'm second guessing. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. It's nice to sleep in. Getting rid of this shirt. It just has a leopard lips on it. I'm getting rid of my cow print overalls. This is a dress that has watermelon all over it. It's just not really my style and I just don't think it's cute anymore. So this is a cute shirt, but again, it's another one I've had for years that I've only worn, I think, once. So I've had this dress for a long time. I'm sure you guys recognize it, but I think I'm over it. Okay, so this is a sweater that I thought I liked, but I don't know. I guess I don't. It has like sequins on the shoulder and my hair constantly is getting stick stuck to it. So that was super annoying. My braid literally just stuck to it. I've had this dress longer than I think I've had like anything else, but I'm over it. This just reminds me so much of just like past Maybelline. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but don't worry. This is just a black shirt with some netting. I have so many things like this that I just don't think that I need this one. A t-shirt and it just says, oops, did I say that out loud? This is just another t-shirt with some eyelashes on it. This is a dress that I got from Hot Topic been a while, easily over a year, and I never wore it because it didn't fit me. It's half pink, half black. It's honestly super cute, but it's way too small and it's taking up space. So this is just a gray cardigan that I never ever wear. Like I haven't worn it since I've lived here and I've lived here for years. Here we have a t-shirt that I have never worn and it just says love in cursive. We have a flapper dress, folks. This is actually freaking beautiful, but I know that I'm never gonna wear it because my hair gets stuck to it. I hate stuff like that. So it's unfortunate, but look how beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. We have a sweater with just some lips on it that I'm getting rid of. I think this pile was never ending. So we have another cardigan. It's just like an olive color. I just honestly don't see myself wearing it. Another cardigan. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is why I don't do unhauls because every time I'm like, wait, do I wanna keep that? This is snuggly wuggly. Ah, I think I'm gonna keep it, I think I'm gonna keep it. So this is like a huge extra dress that I just don't need that has a million different layers. I've had it for a few years. Never worn it, still has the tags. Shirt, this is Blondie. As much as, as much as I love Blondie, I'm not gonna wear that. A green cardigan, a purpley, sweatery situation that I never wear. A light purple dress that I did get recently, but I wore it once and realized not really my style. My pink cow print overalls. The future is female. I've had this shirt for so long, and there was a while where um, I wore it a lot, but time to go by vice. You know what? I know I said I was gonna keep these two, but I'm gonna get rid of them, but I'm gonna keep this because it's just snuggly and it's warm and I want it, okay? You guys, I just made breakfast. I made a breakfast quesadilla. So let's do like a taste test moment. Look how good that looks. Banging. So ingredients, egg, hash brown, cheese, salsa, pepper, veggie patty, tapatio, of course. So I'm just gonna go in for it. <laughs> this looks so good. This is what happens when you don't order takeout and you get to experiment at home. No, this is so good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, here's a close up. This is on the heftier side compared to like what I usually have for breakfast. You guys, I promise. <laughs> it's so good. And I put some cheese on top, oh my God. This is bomb. So I also want to show you guys the other gift that my mom got me. So this is me and my mom when I was a little girl. Um, I probably couldn't even really speak at this age. But when I learned how to speak and form sentences and understand words, um, since I was like literally four years old, um, I've been saying something to my mother even till this day as I am 32 years old. So for the last 28 years of my life, I have been telling my mom, I love you more than every single spoonful of water in the whole world and it was something that i just randomly said when i was four and i have not stopped saying through everything we've been through i have not stopped saying that and i haven't stopped meaning it and it's just it's just a thing that we we have together i'm getting a little emotional <laughs> um so my mom got me this 
for Christmas. It is a spoon that says love you more and it's just so meaningful to me that I started crying. I, It's these types of gifts that are super sentimental to me. I will never use this spoon. It's actually right next to my bed. Um, I sleep with it near and I know some people might not understand this, but it's just so meaningful and I just appreciate her so much and she's the most amazing wonderful person I've ever known in my whole life and she is literally the epitome of strength and of change and oh my god I'm gonna start crying so yeah I just wanted to show you guys um that gift from her because it just meant the world to me all right it's time to build my bowl we have the rice so first things after the rice is my salmon, which I already shredded it up. Next is some steamed broccoli. This obviously isn't like a real poke bowl, so do not come for me. I'm just adding things that sound good and that I know I would enjoy in a bowl. Some radish some carrots some more carrots some avocado the pickled cucumber and onion some edamame some sriracha peas which I'll put here and there I meant to say did I say wasabi peas I meant to say wasabi peas and then a dollop of sriracha mayo that I made hopefully it tastes good some scallion all around which is like my favorite part some sesame seeds and the tiniest bit of soy sauce I'm just gonna go over it like that there is my homemade poke bowl Wow and there is Feline's. Hers is more aesthetic. Mine is more thrown together. Twinkie, you want some carrots? Okay. Oh my goodness. A healthy queen. Y'all, update on the poke bowl. It was 10 out of 10. I did not want it to end. It was the best poke bowl I have ever had. Like takeout poke bowl comes nowhere near as good as this. Okay, so I just cut my hair. <laughs> yeah, I did. Don't be surprised. I do this randomly. I like to cut my split ends. I wish I would have showed you guys before, but she's so short now. Look. Oh my god. And I just use these scissors. Can you guys imagine? Thumbnail. Y'all want me to cut my hair so bad. So the first trim I did, because my hair was super thin, like it is really thin. Ever since I got a hysterectomy and I had to stop taking estrogen, my hair is so thin. So this is the first bit of hair. Like this was literally it. That was my tip. Like once I put it all together like this, that's how thin it was. And then I did another round and yeah, so in total, I cut this much. So some inches, and it just feels so much better. It feels thicker, but lighter. Like, I can't explain it, it just feels so good. So now I'm just gonna do what I always do, put her up, put her up. <laughs> 